not much security. Staff won't give a crap, <laughs> especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind a safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. You can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. Enough of this peeper crap. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. Now take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster. You're a really bad driver! I'm calling Paige. She's my assistant. First she's gonna get us what we need, then she's gonna saw me in half. <laughs> no? Didn't like that one? Uh, you don't make it easy. Paige, it's Lester. The place looked good. Nothing we weren't expecting. Can you get the intel together? Hard copies to go on a notice board. Yeah, plus all the equipment we spoke about. I'll be over to collect it with uh, those people. Yeah. Mmm, charming as ever. Okay, see you soon. She's loading the hardware into the back of a truck. Tools for the job, things for you to wear. On a job, your attire will depend on the role you're performing. As a job gets more complicated, so... Excuse me! So will the uniforms. If you're likely to be seen by civilians, you'll be provided with a couple of masks. Then, when you go into the bank, you can choose one that, uh, goes with your eyes. <laughs> and hey, there's the added bonus of none of your favorite comic convention outfits being linked to a major crime. <laughs> whoop de doo All right, where were we? Ah, masks. Paige, oh yeah. Uh, we'll go over there, pick her up, and go back to your place to plan. Hey! And go back to your place to plan this thing. I can talk you through the planning board later. That might be helped by a visual aid. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Listen to me, do what I say. Bullets go in here, come out there. And if you're ever caught, you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I couldn't resist. There's Paige. We're leaving this car. Taking the truck. Ugh, I should be using my cane. Hey, passenger seat. Did you get into their network? No? Well, you better do better next time. Hey. Oh, shit. Come on. Back to your place. Is it all there? I think so. You want to get out and check? Go down the inventory? Or are you happy sitting there making a perfect butt imprint in your easy wipe seat? I'll take your word for it. Thank you. It should all be there. The clothes, guns, headsets, holdalls, masks, the drill. The files with all the photos and surveillance work. Hey, there's enough here to make us all look real suspicious. Nice little conspiracy to commit robbery charge waiting to happen. What, they're gonna charge us with thought crime? Not so much thought as everything but the deed crime. We'd be caught with our pants down and a hard-on out to here. Well, we're not getting caught. These are professionals. So I hear. The cheapest professionals money can buy. I like to think of it as investing in new talent. <laughs> and until you and me start playing low-rent Bonnie and Clyde, that's the way it's gotta be. She didn't mean anything by that, by the way. Uh, she's just a little brusque. If they were offended, they would have said something.
and precious down. cargo. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige, we'll set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm-hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. Uh, Paige is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Isn't that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> all right, it's blow me. <clears throat> You're only gonna need uh, one thing for this uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're gonna be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Hey, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it. Study the plan. Tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Well, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> bank jobs, bank jobs.
be here to talk you through all these jobs. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, oh, give it the car. Okay, you're on the way to Del Perro. A Koreatown stick-up crew has been using a parking lot as a base for scores. Now they're into extortion, uh, credit fraud, stolen cars, and some, uh, mini major robbery. You almost there? But uh, remember, you can do this however you like, as long as you're careful. If you're not careful, they'll clock you, and then you won't get any choice how this is going down. They're meant to be on the top level of this garage on the north side. So, I see two ways of doing it. You go up the north ramps and hit them hard and quick, or you go up the south ramps, get in position, and try to get the drop on them from cover. Uh, you can do it however you like, as long as you get it done. And oh yeah, we don't want anyone looking for you, so put on masks before saying hi. Uh, 